two of my Pokemon, Platinum Apocalypse. Randomized Apocalypse, may I say, or may I add. And if you guys are hyped and excited for this next episode, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and I keep saying comment like that. Like, comment, and subscribe to see more Pokemon content from me, Silver. Um, so last episode, we did do a Choose My Starter episode, and I did give you some time, you know, to uh, vote for my starter. And the votes were in, I tallied the votes. Uh, we got about like, 20 votes, maybe, some, something around that, like that. Um, I usually get more, but, you know, it's, it's, it's alright. 20 was enough. I was going to give more time, but I really wanted to start this already, so... We do need to do this, and this will be our true starter. I don't know if the camera is focusing well. I hope it is. This is going to be our true survivor, like I did mention in the first episode for the rules. And we do also need to determine uh, what type of apocalyptic scenario we're having. And I think that's pretty much it. So um, let me tell you the votes really quickly, or let me tell you what Pokemon won the, 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 the voting. Just in case you guys don't know who they were, we did have Jolteon, the lightning Pokemon, or lightning Pokemon Jolteon, if you want to say it like that. We did have the flower Pokemon, Bellsprout, and we had the Jubilee Pokemon, Togekiss. Now, coming in last place, with four votes, well, surprisingly, it, it got more votes than I thought it would. I was honestly scared, because at the very beginning, this, this Pokemon was getting a lot of votes. But the very first Pokemon with four votes was Bellsprout. Now, don't get me wrong, I wasn't, you know, upset. I don't really care, to be honest. I mean, some people wanted, to get, wanted it to be a challenge, so that's why they voted for Bellsprout, and that's fine. Uh, you know, it's, you vote for whoever you want it to be. And uh, I didn't really mind, to be honest, because, well, might as well have a challenge, right? But, unfortunately, Bellsprout did not win. Coming in second between these two, Togekiss and Jolteon, with six votes, was... Drum roll, please. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it was Togekiss, the Jubilee Pokemon. I kind of really did want to use Togekiss, but oh well, we didn't get it. And obviously, if you guys don't know, the winner with nine votes was Jolteon. So we're going to start with the Lightning Pokemon Jolteon, which is pretty exciting. So let's go. Let's get right to it. Then I choose you. I'm picking this one. Maybe we will. Voting games was not a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been trusted with are unfamiliar with the world. And never gone, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well today. If you have any trouble, come see me as my, at my lab in Sagenta, and I will be on our way. Uh, in case you get, in case if I didn't mention this before, this, this, uh, this Nuzlocke variant was made by uh, Unlawful Exile, I believe. His link to his channel will be in the description below, so make sure to check him out. He's an awesome dude. I watched a little bit of his uh his apocalypse. I think he did the white white two or something like that. He did an apocalypse himself. You know he's a creator. He's a creator. So his link to the to his YouTube channel will be in the description below. So make sure to check him out. Anyways, get right back to this. Professor, wait for me, please. I'm sorry. Please let me pass. I don't know how well this camera is. It, it auto focuses a lot. Uh, can you tell me how to like? Disable autofocus, please, because that would be very much appreciated. How do you like that? Professor Ro Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. <laughs> Silver, we both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Up for what? I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Silver, I challenge you to a battle. Boys lost a battle already. That's crazy, boys. I don't know how well this lighting is. I hope you guys can see, like, my face. Hey, you probably can't because of the glare, man. It's so annoying. Like, I'm to be honest with you, the glare is so annoying. I I need somehow another way to fix this. Like, look at this, man. Look at this glare. I have light on me right now. Like, literally light right in front of my face. You, have to you got the token kiss? Oh my goodness. I have light right in front of my face right now. Maybe it's fixing a little bit, but it's still pretty bad. Anyways, uh. Tackle, Tail Whip, and Helping Hand. An interesting moveset. I believe Togekiss probably has a better moveset. That is... 
that is sky attack, isn't it? Uh, that's not good. It missed! Hell yeah, boy! Let's go for that tailwind, man. You know what? We're gonna lower your defenses down. That's what we're gonna do. Stop! By the way, we also need to roll our die for the specific uh, apocalyptic scenario. Oh, can't forget that. That's the most important part of this, uh, this series, actually. Alright, it did hit this time. It is a flying time move, so it shouldn't be very effective. But that's still almost one shot. Is that literally the only move though? It has extreme speed. I think we're dead. Keep in mind, the pot, the the Nuzlocke itself has not started yet. Wait, we died. The Nuzlocke itself hasn't started yet because we have not gotten Pokewalls. But Topaz Kiss is straight power, man. What the hell was that? Aha! Aha! I won! I won! With that battle, it could have gone either either way. It was that close. I can tell you one thing. Battle battling is awesomely fun. Okay, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest too. See ya, Silver. We're going back to our mother. Let's see what our mother tells us. What's the matter, dear? <sighs> Has what happened to you? You and boys are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you. So if you go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon, his lab is in Sanjin Town. Sanjin Town, isn't it? Not if you had your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, Silver, put these on. We got some running shoes. Pretty badass. What do you guys think? Should I go without my glasses? You know, I can't really see, so I can't actually go without my glasses, to be honest with you guys. Kind of sucks. I would. I don't like contacts, though. That's the thing. I, I really don't like contacts. So that's why I always wear glasses. Going to Sanjin Town is like an adventure in, this, in itself, is right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, we already know that. I guess that's all our mother tells us. And before we do anything else, we're going to roll the die here. If you guys can't see, I have a cup here. We're going to roll the die a little bit, and we're going to show you what the, the roll was. So, uh, let's see if I can roll this die really cool, really, really beautifully. I apologize for the noise, but, you know, this is the only way I can roll a die. So, a 5, if I do recall, is a, uh, let me see if I can check really quickly. A 5 is a Meteor Strike, guys. It was, it was a 5, right? Yeah, it's a 5. It's a Meteor Strike. So, basically, the only Pokemon we can catch are Dark, Rock, Ground, and Ghost-type primary subtype. So, that's pretty crazy. I didn't expect it to be a Meteor Strike, but it, it is a Meteor Strike nonetheless. That is going to be our scenario. So, uh... Dark Rock Grounding Ghost. I should probably write that down, but I don't have anything to write that down right now. So whatever. Oh well. We'll we'll, we'll try to remember. You know, I have the roll. I have the die here, so maybe you know, we'll find out. And there's bear. Uh, I mean boys. To so silver. I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to go see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I have this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of that. Me and you together, we got nothing to fear. I guess we're gonna go to the lake, guys. Very sweet lake run. Now, keep in mind, we did not lose the Nuzlocke yet because we did not have Pokeballs. So I'm pretty sure you guys should know that. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this. It's here, it even says so on the sign. What's going on? It is. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep all you can. That is every Pokemon of the lake bed. Thanks, Cyrus. Allow me to pass. Step aside. Hopefully I remember that name. What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, Silver. Let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Yo! That's not the cry, but whatever. Did you hear that? Silver? That was a legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. 
Wait, what? We don't have anything to honor. You know, Pokeballs? B O K accent E ball? If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon and take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan give us a sum if we ask him? You don't even remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Silver, I'll race you. The first one to the professor's lab in Sandium Town rules. And there goes what's his face again. Poise. Keep it getting everything. Alright, there you go. Uh, I don't wanna. I was gonna check what we can catch, but you know what? We're not. We're not going to until we get back. But right here, we might have to check what we can catch. And hopefully, they'll be dark type. Because that's what we need. We need dark, brown, rock, and... Was it bug? Shit, I already forgot. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, we're already here. Hold on. It was dark, rock, brown, and ghost type. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there you are! Please come with me. Oh, my bad. Oh, there you are! Please come with me! I don't even know if that's the voice I gave before that. The professor is waiting. This is it! Our Pokemon... Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go! Duh. What the? Oh, it's you, Silver. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he, as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Silver. I'm out of here. See you later! That, that, that poise, man. He's crazy. Wow. What was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. I'm gonna give you that sassy, that sassy voice. You know why? Because why not, right? Right, Evan. Well, well, who's here? Silver, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Well, well, you made your Pokemon evolve already? Hmm, I trust you with that Jolteon. There's no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? And of course, no soft rules, we have to give uh, Jolteon a nickname, so yes, we do. And we are going to name Jolteon... It's not. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna name it Hunter because I feel like it goes with it. It's just me, but I'm gonna name it Hunter. Hunter the Jolteon. That's what we're gonna have. So, okay, that's gonna be our nickname. Hmm, okay, I see. And you happy with that nickname? Yes, we are. When I first saw you two about to step into that tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children. But now you've astounded me in, a, in an entirely different way. Already there's a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Jolteon feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Jolteon of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind to your Pokemon. If you want it, then have to. Oh, I just can't say it. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Poke what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask you. I want to trust you with this Pokedex. We'll use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me. Yes, we will. Hmm, good answer. And we got the Pokedex, guys. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Silver, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. I've got one too. Like, yeah. When you walked up 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I lived for 60 long years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm with the Pokemon. I'm gonna change this voice because it really hurts. It's really hurting myself, man. No. You should know that there are po countless Pokemon in this book. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. No go. Silvio Grand Adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Chimchar. If you wouldn't have chosen a Chimchar around 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm done. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you the thing. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Silver. I don't want to learn anything from you. I already know how to play Pokemon. Is that it? You guys give me anything just to be curious, just for curiosity, you know, I'm just wondering. Yeah. I think Dawn gives you the balls, right? I think 
Don's in Peter. So we're gonna go to Don. There's Don. Silver! I have something good here. You should take this as well. I randomized the teams, by the way. So what is this gonna be? That is the technical machine. That one contains a move return. Uh, bear in mind, Harvey, that team is single use only. The move return gains its power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. Switch to you because I'll send you out from the Oh wow, I didn't know the professor had TM. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, Silver, I asked if you meant to. I've got a bit more experience to you as a trainer and as a professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. And we already know this, so I'm just gonna like fast forward through this because we already know this and this is annoying. Dawn, Dawn, yeah, whatever. That's right, Silver. She's the one that teaches how to catch Pokemon, unfortunately, so that fucking sucks. But we will heal up our Pokemon, because why not? Alright, uh, before we continue, how do you do this? We're gonna go to this too fast, and the frame, I do want to change the frame. I like this one. Can I? I didn't. I'm stupid. Let's go back to our mother, because she must be worried about us. Alright, this is something we can encounter in this route. It is a Beldum. Beldum is Steel Psychic, right? So that is not something we can catch in this route. I mean, we can't. We can! We have to roll the dice first, but it would have to be a true sur- I forgot what it was, fuck. I forgot the rules, dammit. I don't remember. What's the rules, Silver? Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick, re quick, take a quick rest, dear. What is it, Silver? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh no, Silver, I got something you'll find useless. Journal, you blah 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 blah. Blah 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 <laughs> oh my boy, yeah, whatever. Okay, we can finally go now. So let's go to Dom really quickly. I do want to get. I'm gonna try to get at least uh, the Verity encounter and this encounter for this for this episode. Another build. That just sucks. And then we'll probably end the episode off there. So let's go over here to Dom because she's gonna teach us how to catch Pokemon. I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one. Just watch me, okay? Oh uh, yeah, blah 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 blah. Please, blah, 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 yeah. Can you hurry up, please? I, I have things to do. Let's grab the bee, dude. See? Isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target HP more than I dare. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. That is, this is because a healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, a Pokemon also gets... I already know this. And Nuzlocke has officially started, which is kind of crazy. And we're gonna go back to Verity, to Lake Verity. I mean Verity Lakefront and uh, Route 201 to get our encounters. And we will buy some more Pokeballs though. We'll buy 10 because why not? I should probably should have bought more. I probably should have bought more potions. I probably should have bought like six. Six to seven Pokeballs, but oh well. Um, right. Before we get our encounter, we do have to roll and figure out what our uh, what type of survivor this this uh, Pokemon is gonna be. Keep in mind, I. All right. We rolled a three. Where am I going? This way. We rolled a three, and. Uh, what I remember is the fearful survivor. So this survivor survived because they were fright they were so frightened and of everything and is always worried. No items may be used in this Pokemon. So uh here we can only catch dark rock ground and psych and ghost, my bad. And this and it's gonna be a fearful survivor. We need we actually do need to write that down, so uh let's see what our uh, what our rock two one encounter is going to be. Weevil! That is a dark ice type, so 
That's actually pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. We're back, my fault. I have to close my door. I'm gonna shut the door open on this one. Come on! Ah, uh, I really wanna try one more tackle. I forgot how much it did, that's the thing. This is gonna be hard, dude. This is gonna be really hard. We're gonna try one more tackle. We caught it! Oh yeah! Woo! Oh, that's a good encounter. That's a really good encounter right there, man. We got the Weavile. Nice. And Weavile is a fearful survivor, so we cannot use items at all on Weavile, unfortunately. Oh, that was a little bit scary. He leered me like three or four times, dude. Uh, Weavile. What is a good name for Weavile? Hmm. What can we name the Weavile? Fred. I don't know why. I come up with the stupidest names, but I'm sorry. Alright, let's go back to our mother and heal up real quickly before we get to what the last encounter. The last encounter for this game. Uh, well, I'm gonna do the very late front and then we'll uh, we'll end it there. But I do need to type down. I do need to write this down, dude, because I do need to write this down because I'm not going to remember what <laughs> each Pokemon is. So we'll write it down uh, after I end the episode off. Let's go to Larry, Larry the Lakefront and get our encounter here. Alright, before we do get the Lake Verity encounter, uh, we're gonna roll this again. True survivor. This survivor is a true survivor and can be brought to your party no matter what type they are. So, uh, it's cool. We can get anything we want here. So, our encounter for, like, I'll take it, I guess. Hey, why not, man? I'll take it. I'll take it. JK, I, I forgot they teleport away. Uh, I completely forgot. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode off there. If you guys did enjoy this episode, or episode two of the Pokemon White, what? Pokemon Platinum Apocalypse. Make sure to smash that like button. Drop a comment down below. Uh, let me know how the webcam lighting is. I, I, if, if you guys have a solution to how to fix it, please let me know because I'd really like a solution, you know, to get rid of the glare from my face. Please. Anyways, I will see you all in the next episode. Subscribe if you already haven't. You always have a good day. Peace out.